What a life she has lived. There is another amazing story of resilience tonight. There's nothing regal about this one, though. A 16-year-old boy climbed inside the wheel well of an airplane and went on a trip the experts say he never should have survived. He made it all the way across the Pacific, from California to Hawaii. It's not the first time someone's tried this, but as Shirley Engel reports, very few live to tell the tale. It's the most hostile place on a plane, a cramped space meant only for the wheels. Unpressurized, low on oxygen, with frigid temperatures below minus 50. Somehow, a 16-year-old boy managed to survive a five-and-a-half-hour flight in the wheel well of a Hawaiian Airlines jet. It's one way to get to Hawaii, I guess, for free. The Boeing 767 left San Jose, California early Sunday morning, headed for Kahului Airport in Maui. The teen told officials he ran away after an argument with his family. He hopped a fence and climbed into the rear left wheel well of the plane. He was unconscious for most of the flight, and it wasn't until an hour after landing in Maui that he was spotted stumbling onto the tarmac in a daze. He looked pretty good from what I could see, young juvenile, and didn't appear to be uh, dirty or uh, greased up from, you know, claiming to be in a, in a wheel well. Believe it or not, this has happened many times before. 105 people have stowed away in wheel wells since 1947. Only 25 have survived. The youngest, just nine years old. You can sustain life at that altitude. You're 9,000 feet above the top of Everest at 38,000 feet. So you just enter a hypoxic sort of sleep-like state. I mean, you couldn't stay there indefinitely, but uh, you will survive. Dr. Tarek Sardana specializes in aviation medicine in Ottawa. He says a stowaway would pass out less than an hour into the flight. Most of these stories don't have a good ending because the person's hypoxic or asleep, and when the wheel open up for landing, you know, they just fall out and that's the end of the story. So many hazards along the way, this 22-year Air Force veteran is skeptical. When the landing gear comes up, the wheel well is very small. And for him to not get jammed, I, I can't believe it. The teen's exceptional luck continued on the ground. No charges will be laid for his high-flying stunt. He was referred to Child Protective Services. The airline says his well-being is the primary concern. I think uh, you should buy a lottery ticket. Because this is once-in-a-lifetime kind of luck. Shirley Angle, Global News, Ottawa.